Well, Charles Shannon, it was a quick and peaceful rally here outside the speaker's office. They're hoping that he is going to form some sort of town hall on the immigration issue to ease the fears of a lot of people who right now are turning to attorneys. He could be the first DACA recipient to be deported under the Trump administration. And that's something that uh, affects me very personally because I also am a DACA recipient. So my fear is, is Daniel the first one? Is he just the beginning? Will they go after me next? Valeria Ruiz is talking about this man, 23-year-old Daniel Medina, who was detained by immigration agents last week in Seattle. He was a DACA recipient, a program in which prosecution for removal from the U.S. can be deferred for two years at a time. Ruiz led today's rally outside Paul Ryan's office and says the current environment surrounding immigration is frightening. The day of the, after the elections, I mean, our phone has just been ringing. Families like Valerias are now turning to immigration attorneys for help. The biggest worry is that, uh, you know, they're going to be apprehended. Uh, by ICE and they're worried about their loved ones. So Rivas has offered this advice to his clients. But the first thing I tell them, memorize phone numbers of loved ones and your attorney. He also warns them to have a power of attorney for children and loved ones in case they are detained. People believe that if they're going to be apprehended, they're going to be play, placed on a plane tomorrow and sent back to their country, not realizing that we have due process and you have a hearing in front of a judge. Well, Speaker Ryan's office released this statement tonight. Paul appreciates hearing the opinions and feedback of his constituents. He fully respects their right to voice their opinions, and he hopes any future demonstrations will continue to be conducted in a peaceful and civil manner. Now, the attorney we talked to told us this immigration issue runs very deep. A large portion of his client base is affected. He says it goes from DACA recipients, like the people you heard from in this story, also to some local businessmen. They're afraid to fly back and forth to their home countries. Reporting live in Racine tonight, Tom Durian, today's TMJ4. All right, Tom, thanks. President